Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and it's early morning here in Blackpool. Check this out. Blackpool Tower and look at that sky as well. I just thought I'd bring you this quick video. I'll just show you around. So I'm down here at South Promenade, just opposite the, the Queen's Hotel. Down this way we've got the Pleasure Beach of course. But what I wanted to bring in this video was this amazing sky over here. Just look out here, as I look towards the west, we're just past the solstice. A little seagull there, probably looking for something to eat. <laughs> Can you see out here we've got this amazing pink band, that's the belt of Venus. I've done videos on it before and I thought I'd come out this morning and uh, I'd show you it again because uh, it's so clear this morning and I just wanted to tell you about the belt of it just in case you don't know about it I thought I'd just do a little video on it because we've got the right conditions for it this morning. Yeah so as we look out towards the Irish Sea here we can clearly see that pink band kind of like a pinky orange band I'm not sure if it looks pink to you but can you see here this pink band here and down here we've got like grey where the clouds are can you see now what I expect to happen we're around about 15 minutes away or maybe 10 minutes away from some sunrise these clouds are going to turn pink when the sun starts to rise because those clouds are currently in the earth's shadow yeah so like I said we're around about 10 minutes away from sunrise here in Blackpool the sun's going to rise pretty much due east over here over behind the Queen's Hotel over here and as it rises the shadow that is cast onto the opposite horizon could you see here these clouds here will become it will go down that shadow will go down as the sun rises and what will happen is that pink bit of sky there will then come down to the horizon the pink bit of sky is caused by the sun shining through the atmosphere and projecting it onto the the opposite horizon you see the same effect at sunset it's just reversed it's just the other way around absolutely amazing just look at that view towards the central pier and towards Cumbria as well look at that wow I can hear the sea as well I don't know if you can hear it listen The roar of the sea. Sounds a bit like the M6 when you hear it from a distance. But I don't know if you can tell, but that pink sky is getting lower, can you see? I'm not sure if those clouds are going to light up pink because they're fairly low down. I'm not sure they're going to light up pink, but the background sky behind those clouds is going to light up pink. This pink will probably disappear below those clouds, I expect. Every sunrise and sunset is a little bit different. You never know what you're going to get, but uh, it's always nice to see them. There's a cloud over there, can you see, just above the end of the pier that's lit up. Now that cloud, the top of that cloud can see the sun. Can you see how it's lit up? That's because that is so high up that it can actually see the sun already before it's even above the horizon. Well, it's found something. I wonder what that is. I don't think it's kebabs at this time in the morning. The Blackpool Council have uh, marked off the, the litter bins just in case you weren't sure that these were litter bins. They've put a big sign on there saying litter bin. Yeah, put your litter in here. Big wheelie bin. So how are we looking now for the Belt of Venus? Can you see how, yeah, it's definitely getting lower. I was, I, was, I was wondering whether those clouds might light up pink, but I don't think they are. Normally, if, if it was perfectly clear on the horizon, you would get that pink sitting almost on the horizon now as the sun is almost due to rise, yeah. We're not going to see that, I don't think, but uh, we will see that pink sky disappear behind those clouds. Yeah, it's all quiet here in Blackpool so far and uh, yeah we are out of season now but we do have the illuminations on so uh, I think it could be busy this weekend but uh, I like being out at this time in the morning because uh, 
No crowds around. Yeah, it's changing a bit out there now. That pink does seem to be kind of disappearing behind those clouds. Just look at that, doesn't it look amazing? Anyway, I've just zoomed in a little bit. Can you see how some of those clouds are now lit up by the sun? So they are actually turning pink, like I said. I said they might turn pink. Um, so that means that the sun must be literally just poking above the horizon now and it can see those clouds over there in the distance, yeah. And if I turn over this way, you can see there's quite a few more clouds over this way now that are starting to see the sun. Can you see over there? So those clouds are fairly high up, those ones over there, and they can, they're catching the sun now. The sun is literally just poking above the horizon now. I can't see it because it's behind the, uh, well, I'm now down here now. I'm now down at uh, Waterloo. So the sun will be pretty much straight over there. We're on the equinox, so the, the sun is rising virtually in the east at the moment. But as we go towards into autumn and winter, it's going to start rising further towards the south and the east, yeah. Well, look at that now. Can you see the difference now to when I first came here? Now, look, can you see how these clouds are now lit up by pink? They were in total shadow before, but now they're catching the sun. as the sweeper goes past on the seawall here in Blackpool. Look at this now. Can you see now? All those clouds there now can see the sun and they're lit up nice and pink because the sun is really low down and it's shining through the atmosphere and the atmosphere is only letting that warm kind of colour come through to the other side. So the next th thing that's going to happen is the pink is going to slowly fade away and and then the sky will turn nice and blue. How about that? Isn't it amazing? You'll have to look out for that effect yourself, the belt of Venus. I just want to show you something over here. Can you see over here? I can see something really bright over there. What it is, can you see that right in the middle of the shop now? That's the Barrow ship, uh, Vickers shipyard submarine place and it's a massive building and it looks like it's reflecting all the sunlight off one of the sides. Isn't it amazing? Look at that. Wow. The things you can see from Blackpool, aren't they incredible? So there you go, that was the belt of Venus at sunrise. I wonder if it's going to start warming up now that the sun's up, I'm not too sure. It's a bit chilly this morning here in Blackpool. But anyway, that was the belt of Venus and as you can see now the sun is shining right across the horizon there here at sunrise in Blackpool. It looks absolutely spectacular. And look out for this effect at sunset as well because it's just the reverse you get to see the shadow and the pink band you get to see them rise at sunset instead of setting as we saw them this morning anyway i hope you like this quick little video of the belt of venus at sunrise here in blackpool if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again on the next one